Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell of Souls with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan. Yes. What is th this Numenera? Numenera. About? What is no, 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 this? Numenera. So Numenera. Numenera is an RPG by Monty Cook. It's been around for a little while, uh, but they finally came out with a really nice uh, small starter set. Nice. Uh, so yeah, if you ever wanted like interested in getting the game and you didn't want to put a lot of money into it, right away you can just get the starter set and start off right off the bat. Cool. Uh, it's a lot like the D&D starter set. It comes with the dice and everything like that. I mean, we can show that here in a second, but... We will. You want to do it right now? Let's do it. Let's, Let's check right out the new Numenera starter set. Numenera. Numenera starter, starter set. set. Yeah, so again, uh, like the D&D starter set, it comes with a lot. Because uh, the dice gives you some cards, which is great, and then the small versions of the books you need. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, so this is the Cypher system, uh, and it's made by Monty Cook Games. Um, Numenera, of course, the story is you are the seventh or ninth civilization to live on a planet, and uh, you discover technology from the previous civilizations. Uh, you cool. don't you don't quite know how they work. You can work them, but you don't know how they work. Okay. Uh, so they're magic. Uh, right. So that's the whole like concept behind Numenera. So I'm a, I'm only a little bit familiar with these cipher system. I know Drake and uh, and Michael have come by and, and shown yeah. off some stuff before, but it's been a you... while, so it's gonna yeah. I'm gonna have to refresh uh, myself. Uh, there's still yeah, it's still a D20 system, so sure. it's not too different from uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, but we're just gonna go through the the stuff. I'll, I'll catch my memory up before. Um, but this goes over what you're going to get inside. Uh, of course, it's a starter set, so like most starter sets, it's going to have a starting campaign to, uh, to do, so it's going to have a map and stuff like that. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, this one is going to be the cheat sheet. Um, so basically, uh, this will show you just the basic overview of like the different concepts, yeah, so, like the pools, sheet. effort, and stuff like that. Uh, and I think that was one of the big things is to the pools. It's very different from um, D&D and whatnot. Um, and then on the back side... Because you only have like three stats, right? Or uh, three pools? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. Um, which is it's, it's, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, the might, intellect, and speed. Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, yes. It's coming back to me slowly. Uh, <laughs> this is going to go over, like, this is the background. So these are the pre generated characters. Oh, uh, I like the fact that these are big full page sheets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got back on here, the stats and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Might, speed, uh, speed and intellect. Um, this guy's name is Faroon. Um, also, Cypher. Cyphers are the technology um, that you find throughout okay. the civilization. So this guy has a level 2 medalli medallion. Um, for one minute, you can pass through solid objects as though you were... So, and, you know, you're basically Kitty Pryde from Dyson. Um, so, yeah, so this is cool. Uh, this how the stat sheet works out and stuff like that. Okay. Of course, these are pre-generated, so uh, they're going to have everything already out. You're going to have your backstory and stuff like that. You don't have to play the pre-generated, of course. But, right, uh, but this is, if, if you're just getting started right at the back, you know nothing going, about it. Yeah, yes, uh-huh, exactly. Uh, yeah, so we have all these characters to choose from. There's a ton of different characters. Yeah, there's five to choose from, uh, which is great. Uh, but then we get to the map. Ooh. So this is a map for spoilers, one spoilers. of the campaigns. Oh, nice. Big yeah. old It's a good, good size. You can't see all of it right here, but um, it's a good size map. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. It's, it's, you could... It's high gloss. Yeah, it's high gloss. You could draw on this if you needed to. You probably don't need to. Probably with a dry erase marker for sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. what a, what a, what Temple erase of marker. the Vortex. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this ties into the storyline, right? Yes. Uh, well, yes. It's going to be with the campaigns. Uh, so this, uh, they say it here. Read this one first. This is the uh, starter set book one. Starter set book two. Read this second. I see what they did there. Um, yeah. Helps you out, doesn't it? Um, so we can go over these in a second. Let's go over yeah, what, what else do we have in here. A D6 and a D20. Very important. Uh, yes. So again, if you know nothing about the system, they give you two dice. Two dice so. to start off with. Um, we got the cards. So these are cool too. Cause, I mean, if you just buy the book, the base book, you don't get cards or anything like that. So uh, these are gonna be interactions, stuff like that. This is gonna be helpful for you for the uh, GM. Uh, and whatnot. You got XP too. So these are just helpful things for like, even if you're new to an RPG, these can just be helpful things to keep track of your XP. Uh, and then those are the GM cards. You shuffle these Intrusion. and you, you use them. Uh, so it's helpful. The starter set's helpful for not only people who are new to playing it, but also people who are new to GMing it. Uh, so that's it's a great starter set. <laughs> yeah, these are neat. These are like, uh, I guess for the GM, 
you can just toss these in there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, even if they flub a roll or something. Yeah. So this one's funny. Uh, the NPC seems to be supportive of the character, but somehow manages to completely misunderstand uh, what he or she was asked to do. The character will have to attempt the task again to, in order to be successful. So this is like, oh, that's what happens there if there's a, a non-combat encounter. And then this combat encounter, uh, the character sees a dangerous uh, opportunity. She chooses to let her foe strike her for four points of damage. She gains one additional attack, the difficulty of which is decreased by two steps. So it's kind of like these, hey, you want to, you see this risk? You want to take it or not? And then, yeah. Yeah. They kind of toss those in. Yeah, it's, it's like cool. It's handy helpful. deck. So you shuffle it up real quick. Yeah, you shuffle them. I guess you shuffle them. Yeah, separately. or you can choose one. I mean, yeah, yeah. Some, You're the GM. You yeah, you, you do what you want. <laughs> Uh, so then we'll take a look at the books. Yeah. I really liked, one of the nice things I liked about Noon Monero was just the art style. It's really good art style. Oh yeah. Uh, but let's go ahead and, this is book one. Read this first, by Monty Cook. Um, we won't show everything off, we'll, we'll just kind of no. flip through a little bit. Uh, but, so this, this book, first book is going to go over like just the world. Uh, ninth world, so you're the ninth civilization. That's gotcha. It. Um, so yeah, uh, there are three classes to choose from, and then from those classes you can go down different paths. Um, what they're called, I can't remember right now, but we'll find out. Um, the Numenera are giant artifacts that uh, scatter the land. We're from previous civilizations. Yeah, mm -hmm. that you're... yeah exactly. Everyone forgot how to use them. So. Uh, understanding your character. Uh, yeah, so this is... your character stats. This goes. This goes over just like any other RPG book. This go over like your stats and whatnot. Yeah, intellect, um, how the mm -hmm. pools work. Your edges, if you play Dungeons and, and Dragons, games. I don't think this like Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, any of those games. This shouldn't be too far off. No. Uh, but even if you haven't played an RPG before, this is a really good starter set to get into uh, with yeah. the cards and everything like that. And the cipher system again is is pretty. Uh, it's not new. a complex system. No, no pretty no. newbie friendly. It's not like a system where you have like five d sixes. There's not a around. ton of math. Yeah, it's no A D and D. No, um, <laughs> but yeah. So uh, this goes over everything, how to play Numenera, stuff like that. Um, do -do -do, just gonna skip through real quick. Combat in it, stuff like that. Yeah, pretty simple Good stuff. Art too. Yeah, a lot mm -hmm. of cool art. They still use swords in the future or the past. Yeah, but some of them are like, dun, dun, dun. you know how like Star Wars has like vibranium blades yeah. or something like that. It's kind of like the same concept. Weapons, yeah, yeah vibranium weapons. Yeah, so it's similar concepts and vibranium. Uh, wait, what? You want more? Buy the book. But yeah, uh, <laughs> glossary, everything like that. It but was... this book, that book is actually it says real quick. Uh, all players are free to read this book. Okay, only okay. the GM should read book two. So. We won't show off book two, right? But because that's going to be basically adventure. Yes. But if you're, this is, if you want to think of it in D and D terms again. This is kind of like the PHP. Player's handbook. And that's the yeah, game guy. This is the DM guy. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and the nice thing about the Newman Era system is like player or GM, you really only need one book. It's true. Um, so it's nice. There are of course supplements and stuff like that for out out there for it, uh, but it's not like you have to buy a player's handbook, then a monster manual and a GM guide. Oh yeah. You just yeah. need one book, which is nice. Yeah, uh, and it's a good good book too. So I would recommend it. It has some adventures pre gen in there too. If you yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Those. Yeah, just like this the starter sets and have pre gen adventures and stuff like that. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, well, this looks like a neat little system again. If you're brand new to RPGs, yes. or yeah. brand new to Numenera, the mm -hmm. system, the cipher system, uh, this is a great starting point. So cool. Let's hop out for a really quick recap. So that was the Numenera starter set. Yes. Very cool stuff again from Monty Cook Games. Mm -hmm. Let's crunch the numbers real quick. Let's do it. Price points. Twenty four ninety nine. Number of players. Uh, five. It varies. Yeah, there's a. Uh, it's an RPG. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you have your question. You have the GM and at least maybe two players, hopefully. Right. Um, so yeah, I think uh, this can support a GM and four players. Another trick question. Yes. What's the time to play? Up to you. Bingo. It's an RPG. Um, but yeah, so I think if I remember right, uh, someone had told me that the the campaign in this usually, if it's new players, it's going to take a couple of hours. Um, but this, it's an RPG, you can come back to it and anything like that. It's very open-ended, yeah. Uh, so yeah. And the age, probably up to you too. Up to you too. I would say 14 up, um, well, maybe 10 up. It's it not, just depends. It's, it's Cypher depends. system's not super, uh, super complicated, yeah. it's not like one of the more complicated Right, in terms ones. of complexity, yeah. 10 year old can figure it yeah. out. In terms yeah. of game stuff, that's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, but twenty four ninety nine is a very uh, average price point for a starter set. Yeah, because with the dice that you need, the book you need, everything you need to start off. So it's a really good price set. Yeah, go mm -hmm. check it out. It's in stores now. right now. Yeah, go check it out. I'm Adam here from Bell Assault. I'm Evan from Dragons Air Comics Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragons Air Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.